Hi guys! If you're new to the channel, welcome. Make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell. Um, welcome, we're glad to have you. If you're already a subscriber, hi, how are you doing? Let me know in the comments. I love interacting and talking to you guys. Um, just so everybody knows, I am not naked. I do have on a, um, like a dress type thingy in a bobble doodle. Um, but me and my husband were just doing the self tanning thing. I wanted to try it out because I'm so fair and white. So he, um, sprayed me with some self tanner that we got. Because see, this arm's getting tanned from being out in the sun so much. And the rest of me is so fair. So, I took my very first trip to Ulta today. It was so fun. Also, that's why my face is so shiny. I'm not doing a full face, but, so anyway, I went to Ulta, and, you know, I was having an issue with a lot of my shadows because I was using um, a lot of brushes like this one. This is their Eco Tools brush, the Define Crease, and you see how, like, short it is, and it's like, just very huh, eyeshadow in it like it's just very flat like kind of at the top not very tapered or anything it just isn't very like great for my eyes or something like that this is the elf eyeshadow brush and it just really was not working for me like I'm just having such a hard time getting the eyeshadows on and then like this I got in a in a BH set that I had purchased and this is too big I actually use this for a highlighter brush like that thing is humongous for my eyes um you know but like these little ones like they're very like stiff like I don't know how to explain it and that's supposed to be a blending eyeshadow brush so I'm starting to wonder if like the the, the you know where you get them the quality and stuff like sometimes I guess maybe it may make a difference sometimes it may not I just might not have been finding the great ones like okay this is a Luxie brush and like this one isn't too bad but still it's that um it's a large shader you know I need something more of like a tapered brush I'm looking and like see like these like these just are not good like I just struggle with these a lot like they just do not help me with my I just have a hard time using them I don't know other people might love them and everything now um this one is like my favorite one I use for everything it's the one that works the best for me and then um this one actually came out of my Urban Decay palette and I like this one So, I went to Ulta and grabbed a few brushes, and um, I really needed something to do my under eye powder, you know, because I was trying to use, like, this big brush like this, like, trying to get up under there, and it was just a pain. So, I got this Morphe M438 brush right here. Um, I do believe I paid $11 for this brush, and look how great that is. Like, that's going to be so perfect for just getting powder right up under these eyes, you know? So, um, and it, so, you know, I don't know. I'll be able to use it for a few things, but it's just going to be great. That's what I wanted it for. I really wanted a nice tapered under eye brush, so I'm really happy about that one. Again, that is the M438 brush, Morphe. Then I got a Morphe M514 and I think this was called oh you know what here we go the big one was called the M321 bullet crease brush so that's what that one was then I have no my bad I'm sorry guys don't ignore that this one is the m438 pointed contour brush but that is not what i got it for like i said Whoop. um <clears throat> all right so that's that one 
Then we have the, okay, this is the M514 Detail Round Blender Brush. So that's this one right here. And I just think that that's going to be so perfect, you know, to just do a little, like, details and just look at how nicely that just goes across the eye. Okay, so that's that one. Then we have the M330 Blending Crease Brush. That is this one. It's just, you know, a little bit bigger. And same, see. Look at how beautiful that is. And I believe that these other ones that I'm showing you were like between six and seven dollars. These ones, um, the only one that was eleven dollars was that the bigger one. And then this last one is actually the um, M514 Detail Round Blender Brush. Yeah. Right. Wow, guys. I am really. Am I missing something? No. Okay. I, I don't know what I just did. This is the M321 bullet crease brush. Okay. Look at this. Like, that's just going to be perfect to do, like, little details. I, I just am love. Okay. So, well, I'll go over it one more time because I think I may have messed a few things up. So, M321 Bullet Crease Brush. Alright. The M330 Blending Crease Brush. The bigger blender. The M514 Detail Round Blender Brush. And then lastly, which was the first one, the M438 Pointed Contour Brush. Okay, so that's what I got at Ulta for brush wise. Then I also got. Um, some foundation. This is the Revolution Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation. Um, I got F3. Um, look at this applicator. I'm in love. This was $12. $12. I haven't tried it yet, but when I swatched it in the store, I put a little bit on my face and it looked amazing. Um, I didn't never touch myself with the applicator. I put a little bit on my hand and then I, you know, try it on my face. I never, like, just dip in with the wand and stick it to my face. Look at this applicator, okay? Just look at it. Look at it. <laughs> I'm in a good mood today. I've had... My first trip to Ulta was just so much fun. Okay. Ready? Wow. Look at that. It is a giant doeful applicator. That thing is so big. I am in love. So, that's the foundation that I got. And then the concealer I got is in shade C2. The same brand. Now, this was buy one, get one 50% off. So, I paid $12 for the foundation. And then this was actually $7. So, I paid $3.50 for it. And then that's the little doe for applicator for that. Look at the size difference between these applicators. Wait till you look at this. I love it. I love it. Oh, the other day, by the way, I noticed that when I kept bending down, my hair looked like really white, like right here. It was this dry shampoo that I was using. It's the Not Your Mother's Plump for Joy bodybuilding dry shampoo. Um, it says leaves no residue, but I'm sorry. Bullcrap. Bullcrap. This left so much whiteness in my hair. It was disgusting. And it made it just feel very gross. Okay. 
that's the foundation and the concealer. Crazy, huh? Okay, so we'll probably try these out tomorrow because right now I have self tanner on my face. What do you got? Oh, uh, the bear. You playing with Freddy the bear? So again, I got F3 for foundation and C2 for concealer. Um, that's not the color of it right there. But um, yeah, so $12, $7, 50% off. So that was a pretty good deal. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Oh, I got a little round light that clips onto my phone to help with lighting and stuff. Careful, Timmy. Sissy's sitting there, buddy. Skylin, give Bubby his bear. Thank you. Thank you. Here, you want your brush, Pooter? Here. Timmy, look. Timmy, you forgot a piece. There you go, buddy. Good girl, Skylin. Um... Maybe that is all I got from there. Okay, so moving on. I don't know what that was. I think my husband just left his toe. Okay. Then me and Tim and Skylin went to Walmart. And like I said, this is just going to be quick. I just want to show you this. And then we're going to bed. All right, so Timmy, come here, Baba. So this thing was only ten dollars, and I never seen Profusions at Walmart before, but it's a thirty-two piece professional face kit. Um, I'm excited to try this. Look, you can see the little ring light that I got. That's what I was talking about. It comes with like a contouring brush, eyeshadow brush, um, contour. It says medium bronzer, light bronzer, butterflies blush, dazzle highlighter, and then fancy, which can I guess be either a blush or a highlighter. Then over here it has brow wax, medium brown, ash brown. Um, this I believe oh you know what these are all three blushes these are the highlighters dreamy which is a cream and then innocent then it has one two three four five five ten fifteen twenty shadows and it actually has like the names on them and everything and then on the back it kind of just tells you how to use it I took this off so that I could look underneath and it's just in this nice little case so I'm really excited for this oh. so how have you guys been what have you been up to we haven't been up to much just been working and trying to um, get some stuff together to make a nice video like I said I wanted to make a video but I just knew that my brushes were giving me a really hard time so I mean I just knew that it wasn't like I couldn't make a good video when I couldn't get the brushes to work the way I needed them to so it was pointless to try to do an eyeshadow look because I was just struggling with the um the shadows really badly Oh, by the way, this is the bronzer that we used. It's the Banana Boat Summer Color Self Tanning Mist Airbrush Color Fresh Citrus Fragrance. Color lasts up to seven days. Advanced fragrance technology for all skin tones. So, um, it says Banana Boat Summer Color Airbrush Self Tanning Mist. Make streak free, self tanning, quick and easy to light. Miss Spray lets you get those hard to reach places and our advanced fragrance technology provides a fresh citrus fragrance while neutralizing the odor of sunless tanning. Time release color technology provides a more natural look tan that lasts up to seven days. The quick spurt drying spray is an oil free and contains aloe vera and vitamin E. <clears throat> so it says apply to clean skin and use sparingly around ankles, knees, elbows, and hairline. Spray on the hands to apply to face. Wash hands with soap and water immediately after use. Allow to completely dry before dressing. Avoid spraying on nearby objects. Color will develop in two or three hours and will last for several days. 
For color that lasts up to seven days, reapply after first application dries. Reapply at any time to deepen or maintain color. So we're going to see how this goes. Um, the only thing is I did not enjoy the, um, the fragrance because it, it smelled good, but it kept getting into my mouth while he was spraying me, like deeply spraying me. So that's probably why. And we really weren't in a well-ventilated area. Oh, update on the pop fit. Not a fan. I am in super love with the design of like the way the leggings have like the, that mesh. Oh my god, I love it. Like that's what attracted me to it in the first place. But the polyester just is not my thing. It does not compliment me. It, they're very hard to get on and off because they don't have much give. They're nothing like say LuLaRoe. I love LuLaRoe. Um, so, I'm, I canceled my subscription already, so I will not be repurchasing, um, any of the Pop Fit leggings unless they do change it to maybe like a cotton or less polyester or something like that. You got the Jeffree Star mirror, the creamsicle mirror. Pretty girl. Yeah, makeup. So, um, I just want to let you guys know because I didn't want anybody to go and like buy them on my word because I was trying them. Um, I said I would let you guys know how it went, and I just was not a fan, honestly. You may love them, you may like them, I just don't. They don't have much give, and they just were not... They still rolled on me. Like, when I when I was bending down and everything, it said they were squat test approved, and for me, they still rolled. So, I mean, I don't know. I, I just wasn't a fan. Didn't love them. So, that's that. I wanted to update you guys and let you know. Um, alright, let's see. By the way, I, in my Walmart, I don't know about your guys's, if, or if you even have Walmart, but they, where Koki used to be, is now like a huge thing of profusion. It's so beautiful. I'm really excited about that, because it's nice and cheap. Like, they had some really cute Fido Palettes. I think, let me know in the comments if you guys would like this, but I was thinking about doing like a big profusions haul and trying it out. So let me know if you guys would like to see that. Okay, so this is the Profusions, um, I'm guessing this is, it says what all it comes with somewhere, unless I crumpled it up and threw it away, which I did. Um, of course I did. So now I'm not... 110% sure what this is technically considered. I'm going to guess that it's considered a contour brush just because like contour blush etc because it doesn't say. So that's that brush. I think it will work well for either contouring or blush, one of the two. I'll use it probably for contouring because I like brushes of that size for contouring. Then we get an eyeshadow brush which may work, I'm not sure. Because I have, I'm a fan of tapered brushes. I like the tapered ones. I just like the way they go across the eye. And that's the brush it comes with. But I mean, for $10, I mean, you can't beat up. Honestly, that might actually be like a really nice brush. And um, they do actually click into the little case. And then I'll probably just set my other brushes in here for now. So I figured I would just give my brushes a little try real quick and just try to do like one little eyeshadow look just on the one side. So I'm going to start by using the M330 and I am going to take the shade Joyous. Right here and I'm just gonna tap into that not a lot of kickback um, pretty 
coated, but when I tapped it, it a lot of it came off. Why is that? Let me try to wipe this. That made it worse. There we go. Let's try seeing what happens if we turn this off or lower it real quick. Okay. Let's just try leaving it off for a few minutes. Okay. Yeah. That just might work a little better. Um, and it folds backwards. I don't know how I feel about that, but maybe. Okay. So. I'm just gonna put that all over the lid. I'm not mad at it, it's showing up as you can see. But yeah, I mean, it definitely showed up. I didn't put like a base down or anything, this is being my base. I am not a fan of primers, eyeshadow primers so far because I feel like they're all like a pink or something. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. That's not bad. Let's see how the rest of them go. Alright, now let's do, um, I think we're gonna do maybe Skyline, no ma'am, one second. My daughter literally just took all the toilet paper and put it into the toilet. Get. That is not nice. We do not do that. You know better, Missy. Alright, so I think now we're going to go with this, um, hmm. I want to darken that up a little. Let's take this color... Let's see, maybe, I keep being attracted to that cheerful color and that color bold. Let's do the cheerful and then we'll darken it up with the bold. Okay, so we're just going to dip into that cheerful shade. Not a lot of kickback. I'm just going to take that right into the crease there. Mm -hmm, that's actually not looking too bad. Sorry, I just have such a hard time talking when I do this, but there it is. I mean, it's not too bad. Um, let's see if it bibbles up. Definitely buildable. I did not swatch these yet. I just wanted to give them a quick try. Um, now I really want to take that shade. Bold. Dig into that. Ooh, look at that. I'm just going to place that in the same crease. Just 
was too deep in it up a little bit. Yeah. I don't know about that one. Ooh, dropping brushes. Maybe let's try the brush it came with to do that brown shade. Like I said, also, as of right now, I don't have a primer on. So, um, I feel like, and I don't have my concealer or anything like that on right now, so, um, Oh wow, I just touched the blushes by accident. All right, let's see. All right, that's getting there. That time I didn't tap my brush off. Honestly, I'm gonna tell you guys, sometimes I don't tap my brush off because like the fallout, like if it gets on my lower eyes, I'll just clean it off, you know? I usually try to like, sometimes I like to do my shadow before I do my base anyway. Yeah, that's not too bad. Let's see. I would definitely say that this brush is nice. everyday thing I personally do not like taking my shadow all the way up here and doing crazy stuff all the time not especially for every day so I'll do something like that usually I would have a shadow shield on right there so alright then we're going to go in this um, with this brown um let's swatch this red real quick it's called darling It's really pretty. Ooh, so is that one. No, I really want to go with that darling shade. Oh, it's so beautiful. And I'm going to take that shade and just put it all right along here. It is a shimmer and I'm not even gonna with the brush yet. guys feeling about this I like it I think it looks nice let's just try wetting our brush with some morphe settings or not morphe why did I say morphe because my brush is morphe this is the BH cosmetic studio pro makeup setting spray so let's just 
that. Give that a little squirt. Little squirt, squirt. And then let's see. Because look how nice it already looks. Then, like, I'm just gonna take my Beach Cosmetics number one brush and just wipe away that little bit of fallout. Um, that actually made my face kind of shiny, but honestly, if I was doing a full face, I would actually wash that off. And then I would go in with my foundation, concealer, etc., etc. <laughs> like honestly, though, I'm living for this. Um, I think it's absolutely gorgeous, honestly. Like, and actually, I'm gonna be honest with you. That fallout was my own fault because I didn't tap my brush. I kind of wanted to pack that on the lid with the setting spray so I did not tap the brush so that was my very own fault. It was not the shadows fault. The shadows have performed very very well. This is a $10 palette. $10. And it came with 20 eyeshadows, two highlighters, two different brow shade settings. Um, and each one of the brow things has like a lighter and a darker for like the front and the bottom of your back of your brow. Brow wax, three blushes, and two contour shades, a contour brush, and an eyeshadow brush. So I mean for 10 bucks, like I cannot be mad at this. This is amazing for 10 bucks. This has worked better than some of my high-end eyeshadows, like honestly. Um, I just don't know, honestly, I am so in love with this. Like I'm really, I, I'm really not gonna lie, like I'm in super love with this. I just want to take a little bit more of this, um, this cheerful shade and just run it right across the top just to brighten that, bring that color back out right there, right there on my brown bone without covering up all that brown. Ooh, yeah, look just right there just to just brighten it up a teeny bit just to soften the edges you know <laughs> what do you guys think let me know um like that shade is just so beautiful come on focus why are you fighting with me today? I don't know why this camera is doing this to me. Let me see if I can swatch it somewhere else. Oh my god, it feels so good. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Oh my god, that's so beautiful. So beautiful. And then honestly, like under my waterline, I don't, or not my waterline, under my uh, line there, I don't even know what I want to do. Because like I said, I'm really just not even doing this for... I'm just in love with that color. Oh 
There we go. I just ran a little bit of that over there. And then just to brighten up that inner corner, I'll take a little teeny bit of this little shade called Intent. What do you guys think? And you know, of course, I would put some some eyeliner and whatnot as well. But honestly, um, like I said, this wasn't like a real review of this or anything. I just wanted to do a quick little look just to see like kind of how it worked and you know everything like that so I mean it wasn't like a 100% review but honestly for what it's worth like I I'm living for this honestly the way that it um it turned out like I really cannot hold on I don't know why I'm not focusing. There we go. What do you guys think? And then, you know, with eyeliner, mascara, lashes, and all that good stuff on, you know, it would make the biggest difference. Um, but for now, um, that's all I'm going to do. Don't mind me looking so horrid tonight. Like I said, I was busy self-tanning, and I just wanted to do a quick little review of this palette for you guys. So, I know that this video isn't, like, the super best, and, you know, it was just kind of thrown on here, but I just wanted to check in with you guys, say hi, see how everybody was doing, and just do, like, a quick little thing with the eyeshadows. Tomorrow, I will do a full face, and I will try out the foundation, the concealer, the brushes more, and either this palette or I have a whole bunch of palettes that I really want to try out I want to try I have the zodiac palette from BH let me just show you who haven't seen it oh the other night I tried out the ColourPop my little pony and I loved it look at this let me not blind you with the mirror so we have that one that I really want to give a try to I have my blood sugar, my blue blood, and then I have, I tried this one the other night, did a little look with this, this is the Lorac Los Angeles Pro um, Beauty's Who Brunch eyeshadow palette.